Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be taking a look at Bioloid. This here is actually from the robotics company called Robotics Premium. It's one of their top of the line series in terms of robotics and it's actually one of the most popular humanoid robots that I know of. Now this particular robot costs over $1200 but it's actually well worth it. So today we'll be taking a look at the contents as well as building it and giving it a test run. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box. Alright, so this here is a robotic kit. It's actually created by a company called Robotis, which also brought us the Play 700 series robotic kit that we previously reviewed, as well as the Mini Darwin, which we haven't seen yet. Now, this here is actually the robot in solid glory, and I must say, it looks really cool. And it does say it's age 15 and plus, just an FYI. It does weigh quite an amount, and it's actually quite a big size box, just an FYI. Now, on the side here, it does show exactly what comes with it. So it comes with a main controller, uh, 18 different servos, a gyro sensor, a DMS, infrared sensor, remote control, uh, head and sk uh, chest skin, which you can actually paint, a battery, a battery charger, screwdriver, USB, plastic frame set, as well as a software CD, which you can program your own moves. Uh, on the back here, it does show a little bit more in terms of specifications. So we have the height and width of the actual robot. So the height is about 15.6 inches, and the width is about 7.48 inches. Over here, we have different examples of what you can make in terms of the skin, just an FYI. And then on the bottom here, it doesn't really spe specify anything other than that it's made in Korea. So uh, definitely a good, good, solid looking kit here. So let's go and open this up a little bit more and take a look on the inside. Okay, so let's go ahead and lift that up. And there we go. We actually have a very nice looking user guide on the top here. So I'm um, assuming this just talks about programming in terms of and if you want to like create your own actions, etc. So let's go ahead and put that to the side for now. And here is a quick start guide. So uh, I'm assuming this actually has our directions as well as in terms of problems. Uh, and here is actually the instructions on how to build a robot. So that should be a lot of fun. Uh, it's actually very nicely big graphics. So it's kind of explains everything in steps and details. So that's really good. Now note, there's different types of robots. There's a type A, type B, and type C. Depending on what you wanted to do, it would be uh, variance on what kind of robot you want to build. So there's a, like a faster looking robot, there's like a karate kind of robot, etc. The one I'll be building is more towards the humanoid, so it actually uh, gestures more of the human movements. Uh, which you can also use for fighting, etc. So let's go ahead and put that to the side. Uh, so we actually have a lot of different parts here. Here is the CD, I definitely need that, so I'll put that there. Uh, here are different servos. Uh, this here looks like the pack that goes on the back. Uh, this here is the head, so it's actually clear. I like that. Uh, and then we have the chest piece, as well as the frame. We have our different sensors. And look at that, that that's a cool looking remote. Uh, and there's our screwdriver. So, very nice looking remote. Kind of reminds me of the old school PlayStation remotes. So, pretty cool. Can't wait to try that out. And we'll lift that up for now. See what's down here. So we have one, two, three, four. So I'm not exactly sure what's in here. I'm assuming they're just parts. Uh, but, um, ah, plastic pieces. So these are all the different frame parts depending on the limbs that we're building. So with that being said, uh, I'm definitely excited to build all this here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cue that montage and get started. Wish me luck guys, see you in a bit. All right, so our Bioloid is finally ready and it did take about a good 12 hours to build. Uh, you can't really do it in one sitting, so it's actually recommended to kind of space it out as you go. Now, this particular robot actually has a lot of parts and a lot of different details. It comes with a lot of spare parts as well, so you can actually build different robots, including a dinosaur and some other different things like a scorpion, which is really interesting. So you're not just limited to the humanoid robot. Um, I particularly like this humanoid robot just because it's actually used in a lot of different places, more in for like fighting modes as well as dancing. Uh, now, this humanoid robot is actually a little bit more skinnier and more slimmer than the typical robots that we've seen before. And his different servos are actually more quicker and more uh, prompt compared to those as well. Uh, the quality of this is actually very, very high. It's got a very nice finish to it. And then, uh, obviously, you know, the body panels are clear just because you can actually paint them. Uh, I actually prefer them clear just because I think it's got a very nice look to it so you can see the inner workings. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and fire him up. Uh, so right now I actually have him set up in his play mode, but there's actually different modes as well. We have a uh, manage mode as well as a program mode. Now manage allows you to kind of see the different uh, functions and making sure everything's working. And then we have a program mode which allows you to use a computer and run different programs to him directly and kind of test it out. 
Uh, then we have different buttons over here. These are all programmable. We have a demo mode, which allows him to run different operations. For instance, a dance or just anything as well. And then we have an autonomous mode, which allows him to kind of move on his own in which he'll actually avoid obstacles. So he has different sensors on here. We have a gyro sensor and like a few different infrared sensors. Uh, and then, yeah, so it's, it's really basic in terms of like functionality and it's actually very user friendly. Um, so I have the remote set up over here. As you can tell, the remote itself is actually a very high quality remote. Kind of reminds me of the old school PlayStation remotes. So we have a few different buttons and then they're all programmable. Uh, so right now I have him set up uh, and ready in his um, the basic mode. Uh, there's actually a fighting mode as well as a dancing mode and a few different ones that you can find online. So let me just go ahead and start him up. There we go. So he's all ready. So if I hit the up arrow, he'll move forward. If I hit back, as you can tell, he's actually moved a lot faster than our previous robots. So uh, it's something to think about. And then we have different fighting modes as well as um, a soccer mode in here. And then uh, just basic push-ups, etc. So let's go ahead and try some of these out. So this here is his fighting mode. So that's a hit to the right and that's a hit to the left. Uh, then this is a front attack, so he'll get back up after that. And then this is like a duck, so there's something interesting. Uh, and then here is a kick for soccer, so you can do that with the other foot as well. And then we have the um, a block, and then we have another block. And then we have some basic functions. Uh, this is beating his chest, uh, then we have him kind of waving. And then we have him doing a little bow. And then we just have him kind of cheering to the crowd. <laughs> All right. And then we have um, his ability to do like a push up. So we'll go ahead and try that next. So just going to give him some room. Alright, and then we have the head scan feature, so we'll go ahead and try that as well. Alright, and then let's say if he fell f uh, face forward, I can get him up, I just put him there. And then let's just say if he fell backwards, And he gets back up again. So obviously, you know, this robot is actually used for fighting. So uh, let's go ahead and next we'll go ahead and program to do a dance. And then uh, we'll do like a kung fu fighting kind of dance music. And then we'll go ahead and start something up for that. So just give me one moment. I'll be right back.
All right, well, that kind of gives you an idea of what BioLoid's all about. Obviously, there's a lot of potential with this particular robot, which is why you see it used in a lot of different universities, as well as a lot of different robot competitions. Now, this particular robot has a lot of different motions as well that we haven't really covered today, but in the future videos, I'll definitely go ahead and post some of his dances as well as different motions. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions regarding the BioLoid robot, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.